All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this. I believe it's a Samsung, yep, model NP730QED. All right, hopefully that's right, NP730QED. All right, anyways, as you can see, there's no screws visible. They're actually hiding under these rubber feet. So I actually just use my fingernails to pull them up. Um, this is what it looks like underneath. It has like this little round rubber thing and it just pops in there. Okay, so we're going to remove all four, keep them in order because they can be different size and shape. Sometimes the back ones are thicker to make it angled slightly up. All right, anyways, now that we got those off, it looks like we're going to have to use a JS0 screwdriver. Yep, JS1 doesn't work. <clears throat> So we're going to be using a JIS or J0 screwdriver. All right, make sure you're using the right type. Keep the screws in order by putting them flat side down like that on your desk in the pattern you remove them. We got four screws, all right? Um, if this video helps you out, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe so that others can find my videos. Um, if it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and it allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Um, if you can't contribute that way, it would help a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well because that's what YouTube likes to see. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and remove the bottom cover. I'm going to hold it down here at the seam. So I'm holding the outside part and let's see if we can use a suction, suction cup to get this out. Likely not, but uh, sometimes it will pop up this way. So let's see. No. No. Let's see if we can find a loose point. It is kind of like poofing up a little in the center here, but it's not quite coming out. So what we're going to do, I'm going to usually what I do, open this up. Oh, there's some weird like black stuff there. But anyways, I get my fingernails in the gap here. Oh, this laptop likes to turn itself on, so I'm going to turn it off. All right, get my fingernails in here and push on the palm rest. Don't push on the touchpad because you don't want to break that. So we'll go like that and then we'll just push like this. And that should unpop the clips here if, let's see, actually this one, ooh, this is going to be a tough one, isn't it? Let's try this side. Nothing. My fingernails get underneath it, but it doesn't really quite pop up. So let's see, there might be another, is there another trick to this one? This one seems like it's going to be tough to remove. All right, let's try pulling from the vent area because I can actually hold my fingers in there and see. And no, that doesn't want to come up either. So I might have to use actually my metal pry tool. Let's see, I'm gonna try and get my fingernails in here one more time. Um, it might help to pull this down and then get in, but uh, it looks like it's not coming up. So let's go ahead and use this little thin metal pry tool. You can use plastic ones too if you want. Obviously you don't have to do, use exactly what I'm using. And let's see if we can pop this out. As you can see, these clips are extremely difficult to release. It doesn't seem to want to pop up. Let's try from the side here. We can't even get in the side here. Jeez. Okay, what about the back here? This back piece we can get in. You don't want to stick the tool far deep inside, um, but that does seem to work. So it looks like we can pry up from the back. And once you start that, we should be able to work our way around. All right, so I'm going to get my fingernails in there. I'm pushing on the outer edge down and pulling up with my fingernails here. And you can see we're actually able to pop it up. So with my fingernails in, pulling up here and pushing down on the outer edge, uh, we're just gonna work our way along the frame and hopefully we can get more of these clips out. Hmm, it stopped right there for some reason. So, hmm, let's work our way further down this way and see, no clips are coming up. Well, now that we got some clips, let's try and pull the center. Wow, this thing is like, why is this so difficult to pop apart? Look, I'm using a suction cup and it's not coming out at all. Hmm. This is, yeah, this one is super tough. Um, if you look inside, you can actually see the clips. So the clips actually go from the outer cover into this. So in theory, if we can bow this up this way, it should pop out, but it doesn't want to come out. So let's use the thin tool again. Now that we got part of it up, hopefully we can work our way down here and pop this. Is this a little cover or something? Nope, okay, it looks like it is coming. It's just gonna take a bit of force. All right, now that we got the whole side here, we can kind of flex it to where it bows in this way to pull these clips in towards the center. And here you can see this side is now kind of popping up and we're gonna continue. It looks like there's clips in the center as well. So this is tough. We're gonna have to kind of wiggle and pull it to see if we can get it out most likely. 
but let's see. We're gonna work our way further towards the center. Again, bowing it, I'm pushing down on this and pulling up here so it kind of flexes it this way. And we'll see, there we go. Okay, and it's coming out. Now we're gonna bow this inward this way. So push down here and pull up here. And you can see it's slowly popping up. I'm also pulling this top cover in towards myself, basically bowing it inwards. And we're getting most of it out. Okay, so this piece is kind of being stuck. So we're gonna do, you basically hold the bottom down, the this with the screen and stuff, and you grab this and we're gonna pull it over that way. So let's see if we can undo the clips. Okay, it looks like we also have to bow it like a like bow it this way. So I'm pulling up here and I'm pushing down with my thumb as well as this side of my palm to bow it inwards. And you can see that undid the clips. And there we go. So we got this open. That bottom cover was a huge pain to remove. It is a little dusty, so we'll clean that up. Um, but basically, we're going to be upgrading the SSD here. So I already cloned the SSD using Macrium Reflect, a free cloning software. Um, if you need help finding that, just let me know. But uh, yeah, anyways, um, first things first, uh, we don't actually have to remove the battery on this to change the SSD, but I might as well show it. This is the connector and it's a push down, press in place battery. I'm gonna get underneath with my fingernails here and as close as I can to the connector, I'm actually using my fingernails to pry up at this edge. All right, so here, and then we just pull up just like that and there you go. That's the connector. You can see how it just has these things that slot down onto those metal pins and that's how you disconnect the battery. All right, um, if you're gonna mess with the screen and stuff, after you disconnect the battery, you wanna actually open the laptop screen and then press and hold the power button for at least 15 seconds. But yeah, I'm not gonna be removing any of that, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Wireless card, sadly, is solder, soldered to the motherboard. You can see there's actually three antennas. There's two connected to the actual wireless card here, and I don't know why there's another antenna here, but the antennas are like mounted there. And another one mounted here, and I'm not sure where the third one is where's are there two I think there's two antennas in this little box all right and then you got the speaker ones connected here same thing it has that kind of connector like the battery where you get underneath the cable and you pop it up same thing with the other speaker on this side this cable is held in with a flip latch mechanism so this latch can flip up and then you can easily pull this cable out you might have to pull it up slightly to pull it out like tilt it at an angle because the wings get caught on some little raised bumps but yeah, all right, so speakers, then you have this. Uh, so that cable goes to this subboard, they call it. Um, there's a USB port, headphone jack, and the micro SD card slot there. All right, then you got this connector going to the motherboard here. These are all like you get underneath and pop them up. You got this cable here, which is most likely for the um, camera and possibly microphones. You got this little push down connector. This one, you can actually flip this up like that, all right. Um, and that one is for the fingerprint sensor power button. So I click that back in place. All right, um, then you got all these screws holding it down. What else? You got a fan connector here, CPU solder to the motherboard, LCD LVDS connector. Again, if you're gonna mess with this, make sure that after disconnecting the battery, you press and hold the power button for at least 15 seconds. You have these connectors here. This one, most likely keyboard backlight, keyboard connector, and touchpad or trackpad connector, pretty sure. All right, anyways, that's pretty much it. The battery, uh, I don't know why this says secondary lithium ion battery. I don't, there's not two batteries in here unless there's a BIOS battery on the bottom of the motherboard. But anyways, battery model numbers right there, AA-PBLN4VT, all right? Anyways, we're gonna go ahead now and remove the SSD. Um, this is also using a JAS0 screwdriver. So we'll undo the one screw here. I probably, I don't know if I lined it up for a thumbnail, but let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so we'll get a thumbnail there. All right, and now that we got that screw up, we're just gonna lift this SSD slightly up and we're gonna just, we're gonna pull this out. Um, this is a Western Digital NVMe, only 256 gigs. The customer wanted to upgrade to one terabyte. So we got this uh, Crucial P3 Plus one terabyte. They do have a newer model now, the P5 Plus. I don't know if they came out with another one, but yeah, they keep coming out with new ones. So this is what we have, that's what we're using and it should work really well, better than the original. So let's get this screw in. Okay, um, this is how I clean the fan. I just kind of 
hold the fan blades a little bit so that way when I brush it, it will allow a little friction to spin the fan a little, but also to um, brush the dust. And then I use an air blower to do it. Normally I'll use my electric air blower, but this one works just fine. And we're also going to clean the bottom cover because this is also dusty. So let me just put, do that to the side in my trash can here. Okay, so I got that all cleaned up. Nice and simple. All right, now all we got to do is reconnect the battery and then um, put back the bottom cover. So the battery, obviously, you just get that all lined up and click it down. So make sure it's lined up and not upside down. Click that into place. Let's zoom back out. All right, and then we're just going to go ahead and pop the cover back on. So get this all lined up and then just click the edges. So what I do is I push down, but also inwards a little to get the clips to re-engage, just like this, working our way all the way around. And there we go. Make sure everything is clicked in. Feels nice and solid. It's not going anywhere. We just got to get the last four screws in and we should be good to go. All right, again, hopefully this video helped you guys out. If you did, again, please make sure to like, comment, share the channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. Subscribe, um, and if it helped you save a bunch of money, uh, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Again, a very little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. And if you can't help that way, again, it helps a lot if you can watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well. YouTube does like to see that, even if you're just commenting like, hey, like I saw one of your other videos, then that's perfectly fine or whatever. But uh, yeah, let's get these last four little rubber pieces in, powered up, make sure everything's good. Hopefully the clone went through okay and we should be good to go. Let's power it on. We might have to plug it in, but let's see. I do see the keyboard lighting up, so we should be good. If it takes a while to power on, it could be the main battery also acts as the BIOS, CMOS, RTC, real-time clock battery. And if that's the case, it's resetting the BIOS, but here you can see it's turning on now. And we should be good to go. We just got to let it boot the OS. It is spinning, so Windows 11 is definitely back on it. And then it's always a good idea to restart the computer one time because Windows 11 and Windows 10 have this fast startup mode that doesn't actually reset the system settings files. So I always like to do a uh, restart here um, to make sure everything is good. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Let's chop this. Bye.